the ranger station cameras. Maybe we can get a closer look. Don't bother. Leave this to a professional. I'll just accelerate over there and check it out myself. It's hero time. Uh, go, mighty Omnitrix power. I've been doing this, in some form or another, for seven years. Talking about video games, writing about video games, yelling about video games! I'm not trying to take stock of my life here, or anything. Probably should have done that a while ago. Point is, I've done an awful lot of stuff, about an awful lot of games. And yet, if someone killed me right now, the thing most people would know me for, the thing most people would have seen, are, are my Ben 10 reviews. Ben 10. Think I'm a happy guy? How'd you like that to be your legacy? Over three decades on this planet, my biggest footprints, a couple of freaking Ben 10 reviews. You know what? Someone kill me right now. It's Ben 10, protector of Earth for the PlayStation 2. I've done other things. Hey, buddy, you're fired. Ooh, yeah. Now, I know next to nothing about Ben 10. I've never watched a single episode. But I have learned a few things. Namely, that a Ben 10 review has more pull than the sun. No clue why, but it's true. Checks out. So here we are. This is Ben 10. This might be your first time watching CGR Undertow. Hi, my name's Derek. I have Michael Sarah's voice, Sean White's hair, and Emma Watson's restraining order. And you're gonna think I'm just saying this to kiss your ass, but I have never tried to kiss an ass. Except one, but that's where the restraining order comes in, but that's another story. Story here is... Ben 10 Protector of Earth? It's a pretty decent PS2 game. Actually, you should kiss my ass now! So I reviewed the DS version several years ago. For some reason, it's by far one of the biggest reviews I've ever done. If anyone cares to explain why, I'm all ears. It's almost as shocking to me as the game itself was, because the game itself was pretty solid. Not that it's great, not that it's some must-have DS game, but as far as licensed games go, Protector of Earth was a pleasant surprise. So I actually went into this one with positive expectations. How crazy is that? And hey, you know what's crazier? This thing exceeded them. Protector of Earth is even more okay on the PS2. Oh, yeah! So you play as Ben Tennyson. He's a little kid who can transform himself into 10 different aliens thanks to his magical wristwatch or something. Also, Ben Tennyson, Ben 10. And I've, and I've never seen the cartoon, but I've also never seen a pun that I didn't like. Well played, Ben. Anyway, the game's exactly what it looks like. It's a 3D beat-em-up with some minor platforming. And five aliens. Like, and we were promised ten, but I, mean, I, I guess a 50% decrease in overall aliens. That's fine. I mean, I mean, licensed games usually feel like they were released when they were 50% done, so... Five aliens is fine. Let's not be 75% dicks about it. <laughs> Now the gameplay is pretty standard, but I mean, I mean that in a good way. You know, you mash buttons to do various attacks. You can unlock new combos. I mean, functionally, it's pretty much the same beat-em-up you've probably played a million times. Nothing new here. But it's done pretty well, and the presentation's even better. You know, Protector of Earth really looks good. And, like, genuinely. You know, it's, it's got that cel-shaded look that works both for the license and the platform. Throw in voices from the cast and some solid sound and music. It's an all-around solid game, technically and artistically. I mean, it's average, generic gameplay, but it's on a pretty dish. And if I've learned anything from the Food Network, it's that plating is like... 10 points. You know, the real tragedy of licensed games isn't that they're among the worst games, it's that they're among the worst games when all they have to be is an okay game. You know, that's the thing. No one buys a Ben 10 game expecting the game of the year. You buy a game like Protector of Earth expecting lots of fan service packaged in a solid game. I mean, that, that's a pretty low bar, right? That's like limbo for termites at such a low bar. So it shouldn't be cause for celebration when a game clears it. But, I mean, I was, I was ready to celebrate playing this thing. I mean, it certainly has its issues, but they're never that huge of a deal, you know? Especially not for younger fans of the show. Protector of Earth may be predictable in terms of its design, but in terms of its quality, it's exactly what you wouldn't predict. 
that being okay. Thanks to our friend Chris from Jersey City, New Jersey, for sending us Ben 10, Protector of Earth, for the PlayStation 2. And my legacy grows. Watch other reviews! Well, looks like he's not here. I guess the trivia princess loses again. No, he's here. He has to be here. Thanks for playing our show. We have some lovely parting games.